everyone, my name is Edward D. Flores from BGT1A. Today this video we talk all about the physical hazard, chemical hazard, and biological hazard. Prevention of food. In this section, we will learn how to prevent food contamination from the hazards we detect. As I explained before, the hazards are divided into three classes, physical, chemical, and biological. These three headings should come to mind when the protection of food from hazards thought. However, there are two basic elements in preventing contamination of hazards that threatening human health to foods. To prevent physical hazards in our kitchen, we must go hazards and how can we deal with them in the kitchen? They are the physical materials that may be harmful to people if they are present in the food they eat. They may also be the objects that may cause physical harm to people in the kitchen. Here are a few guidelines on how to keep you and your food safe. Always keep your hair tidy, trim your nails, and take off all jewelry before entering the kitchen. When using can openers, make sure that they are in good condition so that metal shards do not drop into the can's contents. Try to use colored toothpicks instead of regular ones in sandwiches so that they are more identifiable and biting into them can be easily avoided. When you hold a knife, hold it with your thumb on the inside of the handle, your index finger on the outside of the handle, and your other three fingers on the underside of the handle. Don't place cans, glassware, or anything near the edge of a counter or table. Otherwise, things can break or ingredients can be wasted. Always clean up messes immediately. Oh, and remember to keep cabinets closed. Prevention of chemical hazards. In order to avoid chemical hazards, the following should be observed. Chemicals should not be contaminated to foods. Detergents should never be placed in the food containers. Food containers should never be used as detergent containers. Hot food shouldn't be placed in plastic containers. Detergents transferred from original to another packaging must be identified with a tag. Stainless steel pots should be preferred as pots. While spraying insecticides in the kitchen, open foods should be closed or removed. If there is nail polish on nails, gloves should be worn. Fruits and vegetables should be washed very well, then wiped with a paper towel. After handling chemicals, hands should be washed. Detergents should be stored on lower shelves away from foods. Detergents should never be mixed. Dishes should be rinsed very well. Soaps or detergents shouldn't be used to clean food stuff. Chemicals should be used according to the instructions. Prevention of microbiological hazards. In order to avoid microbiological hazards, the following should be observed. Processes and behaviors that cause cross-contamination should be avoided. Cloth towels used to dry hands should be washed frequently. If possible, paper towels should be used instead of cloth towels. While preparing foods, hands should be washed after touching the spoiled foods. After handling dirty materials, hands should be washed. After handling the packaged foods, hands should be washed. Cooked foods and raw foods should be kept closed so that they don't come into contact with each other. Foods should not be kept open in the kitchen, should be covered. Trash cans should be pedal operated if possible, hands should be washed after handling trash can. Foods should be cooked at sufficient temperature. When storing foods, the first in first art principle must be followed. After the preparation of foods, 
The kitchen should be cleaned very well and dry and it must be left dry. The refrigerator should not be overfilled. All foods and dishes should be stored at appropriate temperatures. After shopping, bags and packaged foods should not be placed on the counter. Foods that need to be protected by the cold chain should be placed in the refrigerator within 15 minutes. On the counter, there shouldn't be anything other than foodstuffs and equipments to be prepared. Personal hygiene rules must be followed. Hands should be disinfected with the right washing technique. The trash can should be emptied frequently. Different cutting boards should be used for meat, fruit and vegetables, dairy products and bread. After touching the raw meat and eggs, hands should be washed and other food should not be touched before the hands are washed. Containers, utensils and any other food that has come into contact with raw meat and egg must be disinfected before contact with any other foods. After cleaning, food and food residues shouldn't be left on the table or on the counter. Thank you for watching.